Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 20. Hey, we made it to, uh, to my age. Good job, me. Uh, we made it to episode 20 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. So, uh, like most episodes, let's just start with, uh, the conversation. So this one's interesting because it doesn't even involve Kilia or Serafina. It's all side character. Well, I don't even want to say side character. It's just other not primary character, I want to guess. Uh, so this is Usalia explaining her deal to Zoroken because he is the only one of the main squad that wasn't present for that, uh, that stuff. And of course he would be surprised about that. But, uh... I, I do like these ones, because this does feel like a very thorough chapter in showing how all these characters interact with each other, also with Kilia, Especially in like their times alone, because you get like Zerogan's brotherly admiration, but then you also have uh, like Usalia really caring like about Kilia's emotional health. And Zerok has just been like, oh, like, man. Uh, <laughs> Zerok is just a emotional person. Uh, he wears his uh, emotions on his sleeve. Uh, so sensible, you guys are making me cry even more. It's hard to believe you're demons. Although I would say a demon that cries is a little bit less demonic. Uh, but, of course, he doesn't know what happens when she doesn't have curry. Body temperature will rise, get lightheaded, become restless. Okay, okay, and then, yes, yes, and then, oh, I'm a scientist, indeed. And, and after that, it's like, guo. And I become very square. Squ squarey. Oh, oh no, I'm so squarey. Guo. No, it's guo. <laughs> of course, you have to remember it's Usalia saying it, so it's like, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh, and difficult to imagine unless seeing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Guo Plip. Guo! <laughs> and he's like, okay, yeah, whatever, I get it, sure. <laughs> uh, see, that's adorable because it's just like. It's like, oh, this adorable child is trying to scare me. But uh, th I started this episode nearly immediately after the last one. As you can see, the duration of the curry is still 100 days, so I've done absolutely nothing. All I did was get up, stretch my legs, and... Ugh, got so many quests. Got so many quests, but I just... Like, a lot of these are sort of fine, but it's also just like... Most of these are just secret scrolls that I don't really plan on ever using. Uh, that's another thing. I did get, I did buy some abilities for people. Um, hmm. These guys are out in the netherworld. Wow, they're all getting, they got wrecked pretty fast. Yes, I am surprised. Because I got some level 70 people. Of course, I didn't equip them. Like, the printies aren't equipped. Which is rather dumb of me, because now I have... <laughs> now I have... Uh just good things I can give them. Not even... Uh, yeah, I figure I might as well uh, give these guys... Oh yeah, and this is the printing with the super health, so it doesn't really matter. Overlord Fist. Uh, sales pitches, you won't need to strike twice. See, the thing about uh, the DLC weapons is they're only as good as, like, the character. I got these guys at level 30. I'm guessing because I accessed them, and that's, like, the base level of this chapter. So it's highly dependent on the chapter slash your team's level. Like, I thought they would be, like, about level 70, because I accessed them with, like, a level, like, 70, 80, or even 100 team. But I'm guessing it's more chapter-related than uh, level-related. Which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, let's just give you... And then she has Pernicle Shooter, and it's Nisa's favorite gun. So Nisa is just a, like, personified uh, NISA America. Nisa America. It's not 
like a character from another game or anything. Uh, Medal of Happiness, Distasteful Metal. Yeah, I'm just doing some basic stuff right now. Um, just making everyone better for the most part because I'm going to be sending them. Oh yeah, I've drummed on. So let's uh, let's look at his stuff. A legendary Dragon Overlord from Dragon Fang, he has defeated many heroes from the human world. So he's like, oh, the dragon that the human hero must kill. Attack on Giant. Oh, wow. It's like Attack on Titan. Or Attacks on Titan. Because there's a axe in this game called Attacks on Titan. Uh, make all ally units giant. That's not bad. And he turns into a sword. Yes, Twin Dragon is why he has like that fi uh, frosty or double flame. or what That, that one that had both. Uh, when attacking without moving, attack again, which is pretty good. Um, let's see if I let's can heal anybody. Nope, okay, cool. So, after that small interlude, you like to go, dude? or, uh, like four minutes stuff, uh, well, not even four minutes, probably like more like three, so Furious Heat Wave. Let's go in there, get some shit done. What did you just say? Four billion hell? Yes? Is everything really gonna be okay, dude? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, of course! It's perfectly fine. I hope so, dude. But I seriously think you should return soon. Hmm. Madam Serafina? How is Father doing? Has he said anything about me? No, I haven't heard anything, dude. I see. Tell Father, don't worry about Serafina. She's okay. All right? <laughs> so you're worried about your old man after all? Ooh, Serafina Sis has a surprisingly cute side. Don't worry about Serafina. She's okay. Since about there. You two have crossed the line of common decency to be eavesdropping on a lady's conversation. Hey, you two. Are you still alive? In the name of the Lost, we won't let you pass. They seem to be hesitating. That probably means Demon General Blottis' injuries are pretty severe. We need to push. Let's take Sand Kano back from the Lost. See, I find this cutscene interesting because I think it's like the first time that Zerokin has ever gotten... Uh hit by the, uh, by, um, what's-her-face's bullets. Um, okay. Okay, 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 I see where this is going. So, essentially what it wants you to do it's my turn. is because Kelia doesn't need Let's go. Here I am. it wants you to throw yeah. someone huh. there. And this doesn't really matter. Like, I'm just gonna rush in there. But it wants you to throw someone in there, get these two on there, hit the red, so this changes, all the green changes to red. And then that will hit null, so it changes all the newly red things, gets rid of all of them, and that's how you get the thing. And if you want to go even further, you probably travel up this, hit this one, then this one, and the same thing. And then it'll probably activate this one first, but you could even have like a chain. So you could have like probably a max of four. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go through all that, because uh, I'm just gonna try and get the one. It's just, it's just more time consuming to uh, try and get everything perfect. Yeah. I figure I might as well enter in there. It doesn't matter all that much. 
Yeah. And this is why I didn't really. Oh, they have an enemy. Ready. Oh well. Stat barrier means I change. It means I can't change that person's stats. What is it? But the reason why I didn't care about uh, bringing a uh, putting anyone on my team in the red, even though there's an enemy boost, is because I know that they're not going to be doing damage to me. Uh, meanwhile, uh, he's in the defense. Well, plus 50, which is almost bad for him. Um, like, look at that. They're all like all the bars are red. Um, so what I am going to do is lift this, pop that. Um, so this is what's useful about having the analog pad because it lets you know like exactly what. Uh, what thing you're on. I know thing is a horrible word to use in that situation, but uh, what tile set you're, like, column you're attacking. Yeah, just about to get rid of all of them. Get a mastery skill up. Yeah. So, this one's not gonna take all that long to do. Stat barrier. And now that they're on the arrows, I'm not too worried. And not that I was worried at all during this one. I've actually said I'm probably going to try and stay away from the item world for the most part. Uh, just because I'm so powerful right now. See, the... the I don't even want to say annoying thing is. is just that I just love this game so much. So sometimes I just really want to play it outside of... like. Let's playing it, and the item world is perfect for that. It lets me do it, which is really nice. But I can't do story stuff, and that's the kind of crappy part. So let's see what the bonus list is. Target lock, yeah, that's a that's a pointless one. Um, so let's just pop you. And I don't believe you're in range. No. Almost, but not quite. See, Usalia has a lot of good moves, but they're all uh, unidirectional for the most part. Uh, like she, she doesn't have diagonal moving ones. Which is fine. Oh darn, missed. Oh well, he got shotgun craft, which is pretty good. Not like I'm worried about a bunch of enemies bunching up. Like, these guys are dead. Oh, and I can even use Shotgun Craft on them. I'm going for it. Um, and the health that they're getting back is due to the uh, HPSP regen. Which makes it so using a skill, or deciding not to use a skill, is nearly pointless. Um, yeah. Because there's no need to worry about the SP cost. So, uh, you can definitely tell the moves that I use more than other ones simply based on their level. It's like, oh yeah, these moves totally useful in the item world because it hits a lot of weak enemies all at once, kills them all immediately. Got target lock anyway. That's fine. Ooh, got three surrenders. That's good. Yoo-hoo, little Crystal! Long time no see, is everything going smoothly? Of course it is. What do you take me for? Wow, Crystal, you must be a genius. Are you making fun of me? No, 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 what are you saying? I don't think anyone in our organization has more faith in your abilities than I do. I'm elated to discover that I have such a nosy superior who's the only one who understands me. Ugh, oh, it makes me want to cry. Well, it's fine, really. This ordeal will soon be over. At this rate, that ridiculous accusation that I'm a spy for Void Dark will be proven false. Then, I will exact my revenge on those who set me up in the first place. Nice! Sounds like you're ready to go! You can do it! I believe in you! It doesn't matter if you believe in me or not. I will accomplish this. Whew. 
I talked all big, but we still lack the strength to confront Demon Emperor of Void Dark. More allies, no. I have to find pawns that I can use. So there you find out a little about why even uh, Christo is trying to kill Void Dark. Oh man, you are in a really annoying spot, Drum Don. Come Let's on, that's the hospital. Up. How are what? you guys doing in the research facility? Uh, seventy percent, twenty percent, both ongoing. Um, oh yeah, I never put Drummed on in awesome. a squad. Um, I'm going to put him in this one because I believe it will. The more people it has, the faster and better they do things. I believe. Of course, not completely sure. Um, so, let's do this conversation. So now we have most of the group together. And for some reason, Zoken's surprised. Oh, okay. So he didn't know that she was the overlord of Gorgeous. But, uh, Biggest Shrew. And that is one of the things where you see her talking to the Prinny over the cell phone. Where it's like, uh, being amazed at... I'm guessing someone spending four billion hell, uh, because you would think like, oh, like that's not, like yeah, there's a very large number, but with someone from a super prestigious, super wealthy uh, netherworld, I'm guessing that uh, it's probably like familial spending, where uh, like her family back home is just spending a shit ton. But, of course, no idea what they're spending it on. Uh, but back to the conversation. They're just uh, being, like, amazed. That's like, oh, man, you're really rich. I uh, don't seem to have any gold bling or giant pearl accessories. <laughs> None in pocket netherworld. Uh, I have way too many jewels, but I left them all in gorgeous. Brought them with me. They just take up space. Besides, if I want some, I can get them right away, so I don't really care. So they're just commenting on how this place isn't super, super lavish. Uh, but yeah, she she ran away, brought them to my pot. Yeah, the Prinnies could steal them. And if the Prinnies stole them successfully, then they might be able to actually pay off their internment fees. Uh, all for the best. Uh, yeah, and then he's just like, hey, how about you stop being smart and uh, figuring things out? I'm gonna save, because it's always just good to save, make sure everything's good. So now this seems to be uh, nearly full, yeah, this is it, just full. Like, everyone on the squad's dogging. So, uh, so Christo's actually calling, like, a group meeting. So, uh, can I have your attention? I have a question. Uh, looking serious. So Christo seems to be the one that doesn't understand a lot of things. Uh, can probably beat Bloodus. Uh, not that I'm simply curious, but what would you do if you encountered an angel in the Netherworlds? So this is kind of odd, because in Disgaea, I believe in every game, you fight angels at some point. Uh, just because there's usually a conflict of interests between your demon characters and the angel characters. And that's where Celestia comes in. But it also makes you wonder, because Christo's probably one of the most mysterious people after Kilia, about like his past and whatnot, because he's a certain giant uh, netherworld. And it's like, you don't know the name of it, because it's not called a certain giant. And then he's talking about the organization. Like, what organization is it? Like, uh, he never met an angel before, so I wanted to ask you guys. Can't say to can't say anything until I find myself in that situation. I don't know. Super kill him half to death, even though he would do that to uh, most demons. Uh, heard that all angels look down on demons. So uh, going from everyone's standpoint, that's very true. Uh, they would think that. But in up past games, you get like some angel characters where it's just like, oh no, like they're 
They're just kind of quirky people as well. Like, they totally don't look down on... Well, some of them don't look down on demons. Others are very much, like, holier than thou. Uh, one of the first main antagonists... Or, no, not no, one of the first main antagonists. One of the main antagonists of Disgaea 1 uh, was an angel who was, like, super... Oh, we should just kill all the demons and whatnot. Because they're demons and evil. I don't compliment the Supreme One, make them blush. So, Red Magnus is weird because he also does the same thing as Usalia, where they both sometimes refer to themselves in the third person. Red Magnus, almost always so. Usalia is sometimes. Uh, so, Krista's acting weird, asking weird questions. Everyone is being like, oh yeah, just kind of attack him, kill him. Uh, save one last time. And uh, I'll, I want to show you guys how good the interrogation is now. So I've got three people. But now just by spamming special a couple times, uh, I'm usually able to just get everyone done in four turns. So I still have one thing left, as long as I only use special. Where would you like to go, dude? Which is really nice. Okay, Sankano. Burning Quicksand. This one doesn't have the accuracy thing, which is very nice. Hey, bro. You've got a plan for lifting Master's brainwashing, right? Yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna work. You're being kind of vague. Are you worried about something? If you use a certain skill from the ultimate demon technique, we can wake Goldion from his brainwashing. A certain skill? Goldion told me that particular skill is a supreme skill that can completely wipe out all maliciousness in a person. All maliciousness? Even in a demon? Are you serious? The problem is, I haven't mastered that skill. Is that the skill that caused the scarring on the great demon fist Goldion's ribs? Yes. Ultimate demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water. I have yet to master it. I don't know what I'm missing. I've never been able to figure it out. Hmm. But you have to master it in order to save your master. That's a super trial. Hmm. I feel something is destined to happen, Flip. So what are you going to do? Don't tell me you're going to start training. You aren't, are you? Zorokin is the key. Uh, me? Yeah. Do you remember what happened that one time? When you unleashed the ultimate technique on me? I'm gonna ask you one more time! Where did you steal these moves from? I didn't steal them, and I have no intentions of telling you where I learned them. All right, then eat this! Final technique! That move... could it be? I see. Was Zorokin trying to unleash the ultimate demon technique final skill, Avidia Holy Water? But you misfired, right? I remember you made a pathetic excuse, saying you were still perfecting it. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to perfect it. I can't even do it myself. And even if I could, I'm only copying the movements. But if Sorokin and I work together, or... I get it! Even if your skills are individually incomplete, it might work if you both try it at the same time, Flip! That's right. If we can complete the skill, then we can wipe out Goldion's maliciousness and snap him out of his brainwashing. It's a combo skill! Oh! Red Magnus is getting super fired up! I want a super join, too! 
You're too freaking presumptuous if you think you can push me aside and do a combo skill with Sir Kilia. Relax. But at least now we have hope, Plit. What's wrong, Zorokin? Are you not confident? Yeah, right. If it's with you, bro, I know we'll complete it. Then why do you look so nervous? L look, bro! The Lost are here! Let's get rid of them! Distraction. So, this is where they officially, like, recognize the existence of, like, combo skills and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, these are a thing. Um, ooh, wow. I'm almost not dying from... Oh, well, I mean, it's 50% resistant to ice. So, figure All men that. Are my servants. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's just do that. Me too! Yeah! Unfortunately, uh, he does not have any long range moves enough. Uh, so you can stay there. Going, Flynn. Um. Okay, yeah, giant bear. Medallion maker. So I'm going to need to. Oh man, Zerok is just going to be able to run up this one. He's just going to be able to jump it. Most people would have to be thrown across there. Which is what she's probably gonna have to Don't get, get done super there. Reckless. Um, I'm just gonna do that. Hellfire shot. Got crits. Crit. Yeah. So I believe the 100% crit is it is indeed in effect. So these people just doing those things. Darkness release. So yeah, the bears just like to open their chest mounts and shoot stuff at you. Oh, crap. Which I kind of like. You. And the bears are one of like the newer enemy types. Uh, because orcs, the imp, uh, the orcs have always been there. Um, trying to think of the other enemies that have like always been there. Um, Great. Definitely the orcs. God, I'm the zombies. And the um Oh and I'm terrible at remembering things. The Nether Nobles. The Ifrits. Regular Drakes, yeah. I believe. Which we may get later. Bye. And I'd be able to name them if I saw them. Well, I'd be able to tell you if I saw them. Effectively. Of course, I could name them if I saw them, because they would have their name on them. Um, so let's pump you right there. Yeah, let's get all of y'all. Just get rid of ya. Yeah, your jump isn't good enough. Sorry, Serafina, but you're rather useless right now. Um, so what I do want to do is I want to do that. And I want to get over there. That way I can do some stuff. I'm going, Flip. Um, because I'm going to show you her magic change. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace his fist with Usalia. And I do like her magic change, because she's just like a bunny knuckle with, um, with yeah. Usalia's face. So I need to, before I do anything, I need to remember. Okay, so we got double Usa Pounder, or Bomber, and Coney Pound. So I'm going to do Coney Pound, because it has a bigger hitbox. But I want to, nope. I wanted to make sure I knew before I uh, got in there and was like out of range. And it acts uh, very similar to the um, Let's end this quick. Uh, the Prinnacle, uh, Prinnacle 
Colossus move, whatever. But this one, uh, she just goes to the moon, and Kilia chucks things into the printy, which is now a mochi pounding bowl, and that's the hammer she uses. It's a, it's like a classic mochi pounder, which is a Japanese sweet. Just got fist mastery up, I believe, or skill mastery. I don't know. And I'm hoping that when this guy attacks, I don't. Okay, I don't think I can counter him because I want to show the other move. Um, because I don't magic change often, so I figured, hey, might as well. Well, I think we'll have a good chance. But yeah, this one with the critical is insane. Like all these do so much damage. Like that last hit almost did 9,000. I should kill most people out th at this point in the game. Two characters surrendered, skip the demo. And probably gonna talk more about According Ovidia Holy Water. Until the Prinny's gathered, Demon General Bloodus' main base in Infranecro is just up ahead. Are you all prepared? Especially you two, Kilia and Zoroken. This isn't a dress rehearsal. Well, it's Kilia. He should be able to unleash the combo skill without a doubt. Right, Zero? Uh... Zerokin, what's the matter, Blip? Huh? Uh, ah! Just leave everything to me and bro. We'll do it right for sure. Is something bugging you? Uh, no, nothing. Don't worry about anything. Are you sure you're okay? I'll shoot you in a heartbeat if I catch you dragging Sir Kilia down. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I'm the lone wolf, heir of the ultimate demon technique. Goldion's lovable apprentice, Zerokin. The pile of the lost I've killed is larger than a mountain. They call me the bloodthirsty silver wolf. Leave it to me. Wow, that's so cool. Zerokin, you're totally out of control, Blip. It seems like you're prepared. I'm relieved. Let's go. Sure, I talked all big, but can I actually do it? So I like that thing where uh, Usalia just kind of is like, oh man, Sorokin, you're really cool. Like, that's awesome. Because no that's one else awesome. respects Sorokin like that. No one. No one even, like, believes him. Like, they all berate what? him. And it's like, Sorokin's a pretty cool guy. But the one thing that really uh, uh, doesn't, I don't even want to say it doesn't translate well, is just they always say the entire title or name. Oh god, I thought I jumped off somehow. Oh god, scared me a little bit. Um, like, they always say the entire name, like Demon General or... Uh, uh, Demon Emperor Void Dark, when you could just say Void Dark, like Kilia, or uh, Demon General Bloodus. You could just say Bloodus at this point, because you know he's the Demon General. Or, uh. <laughs> or the. the. Uh, da 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 skill, a video holy water. Like, you could just say a video holy water. <laughs> like, everything is just super, super long, and just everyone says it. Full name completely. It's just, it's like, oh man, you guys, you could just not. Like, and, uh, oh yeah, my equipment. So I have level 75 Sophia's Mirror. So the status, the statistician, 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 whatever, 24 gives me, I believe, 24% more experience, not just 24 points, which is really good. That's like one of the best innocents. And I have it on the Sophia's Mirror because I was using this one, this item to grind Innocence because it has a lot of slots. Which I believe the rarity and the level of the item uh, denote which slots. Because this is just a common, it has four. This is a rare, it has five. And this is a legendary, I believe it had six and then I leveled it up so now it has seven. Because I believe once you hit level 50 you get another Innocent slot. Um, now she has the Feathers token, and, uh, the nice thing about high-level items, like Sophia's Mirror, is you just get better items. Like, I got Imperial Crowns and Prov Dependents, got, like, all these weapons in the item world. 
like Raiden's gun, used by a lightning god during his rebellious phase. Um, like, and I, I just love looking at like the flavor text. So, the next map is the last map of the uh, of this chapter because they basically just said it. It's like, yo, uh, Bledis is right up ahead. Uh, you guys got to be prepared. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode early and just get right off the bat with that one. Because I would imagine the pre-demo, uh, the pre-cutscene and the post-cutscene are both decently long. And the battle itself probably won't be very short. I mean, it might be, because... Uh, but I don't believe it's another, like, oh, everyone fights one guy. I believe this one does have, uh, ads. So what I do want to do is, uh... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, there you go, squad 11 plus 5. I may actually make some generic people just to fill out the roster. So, uh, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do that right now. How about, uh, you need something? Yeah, how about we do that? If more people watched, like, if I had a more, like, I would put out, like, oh, what do you want me to name this person on, like, Twitter or something? But, uh, doesn't really matter at this point, right? Um, so, I've never really made generic characters, so I don't know what the good ones are. Um, but I have a lot of weapons and stuff, so, um, let's make... Uh, I like Coraline's design. I like long hair. Uh, so let's let's make a Ruby Knight because obviously you gotta go with the best class. Cheetah, Inara, Sue, Dominique, Liliana, top idol, Sherry, Mimika, Daisy, Marigold, Leona, Annette, Lip Gloss, um, Anti Asian Cream. I don't know why that's a name. Lisa, Allie. Emma, Natalie. Um, I'm trying to think of female characters that I really like from like shows or something. Um, let's just uh, um, hmm. Let's just name her female icon, star female icon. Yes, that's perfect. Confirm. Uh, so distinguished would require three million health, but that's this gives you bonus points to just give them allotment. Um, I don't really care about this character, so I'm just going to make them average. Um, so they seem to be an HP tank. Uh, with a t with defense as the highest. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a couple in SP and one more. Just round them out. And then I could uh, get them bumped. Yeah, this isn't much, so might as well. So, uh, do I want to be productive? Ha! How cute. Feel good? I wasn't trying to. Okay, I'm gonna do sadist. Uh, so then I can just choose the color. Um, I like blonde. Uh, yeah. So with that, um, might as well equip her with stuff. Even though she's already pretty decent. Um, so she likes... She likes spears, surprisingly. I thought she was more of a... Oh, and that's another thing that I... So now you can see that Kilia's sword thing is S. And I'm not sure if 25 is the max rank for sword. It might be. But uh, I went to the Kara world, and after I found out that I couldn't improve movement anymore, I was like, well, might as well put up his weapon mastery. Because he only really uses uh, sword. Uh, uh, that got really good. So, just figured I would uh, talk about that. 
So let's do that. And then I'll give you a sword as your seconder. There you go. And you really like defensive shit, so... I don't wanna... I don't wanna say waste. I don't wanna give you a lot of stuff. Because I'm not gonna be using her. She's probably literally just going to be in the, uh... Just going to be a uh, party member. So I can fill out some uh, squad slots. And that's another thing that's awesome. kind of useful about uh, interrogating and just recruiting people. It's like, you don't have to go through the effort of making people. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this was to put their, them on the... there. Um, so, I guess since I've never shown me recruiting anyone, that's another thing I could do. Uh, but I already put them all into the whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. So, with that, I'm going to end the episode. Next time, we will get started by going into there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll grind. Probably not. Uh, may try and get Seraphine at a 100, but might not as, might not as well. Uh, it's almost embarrassing that this generic character is a higher level than one of my main characters, but whatever. Uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. Buddy Bison, signing out. Hope you guys have a nice day.